Hey, what's up guys? Vile Self here. Uh, my last video, I brought you uh, some run and gun tips. Um, I, I did the video on a smaller map, which is, work, uh, you know, you were watching me play and you could see the, the tactics I was using on a small map, but on a big map it's a little different. So I figured, you know, I'm going to pick the biggest map in the game and I'm going to get a gameplay and uh, hopefully, uh, I mean, I do die a, a, quite a few times in this gameplay, but I still get a pretty good uh, kill death ratio and finish first overall and, and you know, help my team get the win. We're so I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit about how to... Um, do some running gunning on a big map with a small gun. Uh, Submachine guns, as you guys know, are, are the best at close range, so this map is uh, quite difficult to um, maintain a close range encounters with your enemies. You want to definitely stay away from the far range engagements, but if you know how to traverse the map properly, there are a lot of ways to get from one side of the map to the other without running through the long range engagements. As you, as you can see here, I'm sticking around these walls, I'm sticking around these tight quarters. I've already got the care package from the field order, and I've got the SATCOM out, so I'm doing good right off the bat. So I'm gonna call in this vulture here, and uh, I don't think he really does much to help me, but um, yeah, you wanna just stick near walls. You don't wanna run out into open fields, and every once in a while you will, but you wanna look first. You see here, I'm just kinda taking a look. I'm looking, seeing if I see anybody in the distance standing on walls, any heads popping up, I don't, so I'm gonna make a mad dash for it. Use that slide to your advantage. Keep, always keep looking left and right, left and right. As you see there, I slid to the side, and here I get picked off from behind. There's not much I can do about this. You got these uh, thermal scope snipers. I don't even know why the thermal scope is in this game. It's such a crutch. Um, just eliminate all these type of thermal scope and target finder and all that stuff, and just let people find enemies on their own. They don't need a. They don't need something to help them find people. But as you can see, I'm going back for the revenge kill, which I did say not to do. But um, I'm the kind of guy that likes to do that, and I feel like I can get to this sniper. Uh, without getting killed so like I said I'm running through this rubble and I'm keeping him out of my line of sight and by doing that I'm out of his line of sight so fortunately somebody got there before him so I'll teabag him a little bit just to teach him a little lesson and uh, I'm gonna make my way back over here so I, I don't know this map like the back of my hand but I kind of know it well enough to the point where I kind of know where the snipers like to hang out and the snipers are gonna be your worst enemy when you're running uh, uh, submachine gun on this map and I did try to shoot some guys there but I wasn't necessarily trying to kill them I was just trying to hit them because if my teammate you know ends up killing them then I get assist points for that and it all adds up you know what I mean it all adds to your kill streak so you don't necessarily have to go for kills but you do you should still put some damage on an enemy if you have a chance to so that's what I was doing there but as you can see here I'm just checking the, the little nooks and crannies where snipers like the, the hide out and I saw a guy destroy my satcom there so I'm gonna kill him and destroy his satcom yeah like I always say reload often and uh, you know, I'm gonna run around. I gotta check these houses. Um, there's always like sometimes campers in these houses, and this time I'm lucky there wasn't. But I'm just taking my time. I'm not rushing around too too much. I'm kind of going from spot to spot, but trying to stay out of the open. So I'll peek my head up there, see what's happening. I kind of got caught right there. I wasn't really ready for that. But it's gonna happen. You're gonna die. You can't stay alive forever. Um, I mean, sometimes you get lucky games where you just stay alive forever. But um, you know, oh, I'm gonna get caught right here too. Yeah, see. I got caught trying to throw a... Uh, see, that's another thing I'll do, is I'll throw my IEDs or any explosive devices, I'll throw them in your cars, because what the what that does is, once it explodes, it creates makes the car explode, and creates an even bigger explosion, which is increases your potential to get a kill. Um, I mean, if, you, if you're the last person to shoot a car, or the last person to damage a car before it explodes, and it explodes near an enemy, you will get the kill for that. Um, that's how it's been in basically every Call of Duty, so... Um, don't be afraid to, you know, throw your frag grenades or your semtexes or your IEDs towards cars if you know cars are there because it'll just increase your uh, blast radius spotted. and give you more chance to get a kill. So that's what I was trying there and I ended up getting caught. But um, here I am sticking close to the wall, Set cutting in and out. I, don't, I just don't want to be, you don't want to run in a straight line. That's what you don't want to do because if you're running in a straight line, all that does is it enables the uh, snipers and anybody with an uh, ACOG scope or some type of long range weapon. It enables them to pick you off a lot easier. You gotta kind of keep moving. If you see I'm changing elevation, I'm kind of moving back and forth. See, the reason why I'm running straight here is because I got a teammate facing the other way. And basically what he was doing is he was kind of being my guard. So if he start, started shooting somebody, I would know there was somebody behind me. So I didn't really have anything to worry about there. I was keeping an eye on my teammate, which is another thing you should always do. And, uh, you know, satcoms, plant them in corners, try to keep them out of the, out of the way, out of the view. But um, I knew some guys were coming in here, so I kind of camped this window for a couple seconds here, get a couple easy kills, and uh, you know I'm getting close to my uh, my uh, next kill streak here, so I want to kind of try to play it easy. Um, trying to complete the uh, 
Operation Challenge to get 10 Maniacs, and I think I'm up to about 7 Enemies right now. Spotted. And uh, so I want to uh, take it, play it easy and try to, uh, you know, get my kill streaks up. So I'm not necessarily, I wouldn't call this necessarily camping. I'd, I'd say this is more like uh, tactical awareness. I'm kind of, you know, um, aware of my surroundings and where the enemies are coming after me now. They know I'm over here, so, but you got to kind of start... Um, watching your back because they will start coming from different angles and this is why I placed the sensor gun right here So that's gonna cover my back. Hopefully that's the plan anyway, and uh, the sentry guns are not that uh, powerful in this game They're definitely weaker than any sentry guns that I've ever used in other Call of Duties um, But they do uh, help you out quite a bit yeah, They just got me a kill right there. So like I said, I'm just playing uh, tactically here. I'm camping in this house quite a bit now um, But you know, like, like I said, I'm just going for that juggernaut maniac and uh, I'm just expecting guys to come back and hunt me down for revenge kills because I killed a few of them here. I got a teammate hanging out there, so now I'm starting to think, you know, if any enemies do come, he's going to engage with them first, and he might kill them if he dies, which he just did, and I don't know what the enemy is, but there he is, and I'm not going to win that gun battle. See, that's what I was saying in my last video. If you're in a gun battle and you know you're not going to win, just retreat. There's no use wasting your ammo. There's no use, you know, trying and then dying. Just do that. Run around the corner, flank him from the side. He's gonna run around and try to flank you, so you gotta beat him at his own game. So that's what I just did there, and you know, I, I outsmarted that guy and I hit fired him and he had no chance. So that's all I did there. But this game plays. Uh, I guess it's a little boring at this point because I'm just you know hovering around this house and just looking for enemies. But I'm just waiting for that maniac kill streak. Uh, this guy ran right past me. And there we go. I finally got it. This guy's trying to kill my sentry gun, so I saved that and. Uh, you know, this this kind of sucks right here, what happens next. Uh, I actually don't even get to use my Maniac kill streak because of some uh, some random glitchy bullshit. But as you can see, it landed in the bed of the truck. So here I am approaching it, and I am not getting the uh, prompt to take my care package. I hop up on the truck, and still no prompt, nothing. So I try, I try, I try, I try again, and nothing works. So eventually I do... Uh, make an effort to destroy this truck and as you can see I'm really low on ammo so I am soon gonna have to find a Friendly new gun um, now at this point I'm just hoping no enemies come because the last thing I want is some enemy to come up and somehow take my maniac care package so I'm kind of trying to take my care package but I'm also trying to watch my back and I know they can you know see this on the map so they're probably gonna be coming after it. and there's a guy right there and I finally pick him off but now I'm out of ammo so I'm gonna take his gun which happens to be sniper rifle, which I have never even used in this game yet. And I'm going to destroy this truck because I figure, you know what, if I destroy the truck, I might loosen up my care package and I might be able to uh, retrieve my maniac. So I destroy the truck and nope, I still can't get my maniac package. Even teammates are coming over trying to get this maniac and nobody can get it. So eventually I say fuck it, I give up. And uh, I'm going to run around with this guy's sniper rifle. Nope, I'm going to get shot in the back. So. Now back to my original tactic. Now, I'm going back for my Maniac because I don't want my the enemies getting it. Um, I think I do die a couple times trying to get back to it, but once again, stick, staying out of the wide open areas as much as I can, trying to stick within these tight walls, and that's where your strength is when you have a submachine gun. You don't want to be in the wide open areas because you're just going to get trumped, and I can't stress that enough. And I see people all the time running around with their submachine guns, and I don't know how to open that gate. If anybody, any, any of you know how to open that gate, I want you to send me a message because I've seen that gate open before, but I don't know how it opens. I, I, thought, I tried shooting it, but it didn't seem to work. But I, that's one thing I like about this game. There's quite a lot of little buttons and... Uh, and uh, levers and stuff like that in, in most maps where you can open up doors and gates and and block passageways and stuff like that and I actually had a pretty uh, it was kind of it was funny for me but it sucked for my teammate it was on um, the map freight there's a door where you can um, you press a little switch and the door opens but there was a teammate running towards me and I didn't see him at first so I pressed the button and as the door was closing he comes running in and he just misses it and he gets shot and dies and I felt so bad because if I didn't close that door, he probably would have made it in there and survived, so, you know, you gotta watch stuff like that, but, anyways, you see this sniper tried to get me, and I just run up around him, and he's just an idiot, he didn't expect me to flank him at all, but that's what Marathon's for, that's what Lightweight's for, those are the kind of perks you want to use when you're traversing a big map too, because you cover more ground much faster, but anyway guys, I hope you found my tips uh, useful, and I hope you find my tactics useful for, um, using a running gun tactics with a submachine gun on big maps. So I want to thank you guys for watching once again. Please like, favorite, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Peace.